I know. Don't worry. That's what we did. <laughs> okay. You recording? Mm-hmm. Okay. So now the machine is tested. Okay. It took eight, eight minutes to test. It's, it's done testing. We can move on to the next step. In the classroom and in some clinics, you're going to work with a Myron L meter. So I encourage you to stand in front of the machine to learn to do this. Open the door. Okay. Um, and I'm muting the alarm right now. You don't have to mute the alarm because you normally do it fast, but I'm just going to keep muting the alarm. Uh, there's two lines on here. This line is the drain line or going to the drain, and this is the supply line. So we need to take the supply line off, and when we take that off uh, and we close the door, fluid starts to flow through here. You can see when I, the fluid's flowing, I open the door and it stops. Close the door. Fluid flows. Fill up both of these wells. Rinse them out one, two, three times, and then on the fourth one, go ahead and leave them full. Set it right there. Reach over, stop the flow. Okay, and since I have this on my hand, I'm going to connect it to the dialyzer now. So I take off the cap, connect it to the dialyzer. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take the red one off, do the same thing. Connect it to the dialyzer. There's a little well up here that holds all your little caps. Close my door. Okay, so the machine is alarming. So I need to reset my machine. So I press, held the reset button until it cleared out the alarms. And now I'm going to prime, or now I'm going to restart this machine. So over here on the touch screen, do the prime reset button. I'm going to press that, press confirm. My pump is running. I'm going to turn it up to 250. Now, you got to connect your transducer lines, okay? So they're coming, they're the ones that have little white transducer protectors on there. Sometimes you have to keep hitting reset. I connected that line and unclamped it, okay? And the same thing with this one. I'm going to connect this line and unclamp it. Now, the policy at the clinic at one point was 250. It now could be 400 for this pump speed. Something we'll verify. But for today, let's just say that it's 250, okay? Uh, researching. So that's what's happening right now. Uh, the, the dialysis, the, the dialysate is recirculating through the machine, uh, getting the air out of the dialyzer. Um, you can see the air up in here, so I want to get that out. Tap it gently, okay? This is usually set to recirculate for 15 minutes in the clinic. Again, in the classroom, I've changed things so because of time constraint. So I've actually set it to, to do it in three minutes. And usually it's in like 400 milliliters that they're going to recirculate through here. I've changed it to 100 in three minutes. But in the clinic, that would be 15 minutes in like 400. Um, and again, that kind of fluctuates. They have, the machines are already programmed. Last thing I want to do, is load this in the safety device. So if you just pull down on it and close the door, it's in the safety device. Now, if I need to raise this level up, which is a little low, I can use the button, raise it up, okay? So it's recirculating. When it's done recirculating, that would be the, the next step um, when we go to put the patients on stuff. We're not gonna worry about any more steps. This